Coming off an early heat wave, the most popular worker right now is probably an AC technician. Absolutely, and companies tell us that they are maxed out on emergency calls. You know, this week, schools, homes, and even a hospital lost their coal in the Texas heat. So tonight we brought in an expert to explain how units break down and how to keep your thermostat thriving. Here's Ken's Five reporter, Hannah Tita. Jeremy Cox is at home in the hum, though this engineering director typically works on smaller AC units. Not this loud. It's easy to forget when it's working, but even easier to feel when it's not. In a lot of places around the country, air conditioning is considered a luxury. In South Texas, it's almost a necessity. Because extreme heat is deadly. Of all the weather disasters in the U.S., the National Weather Service says heat claims the most lives. Cox says a simple checkup can save you a crisis. Check their filters and, and change any filters that are dirty. Uh, go through and just make sure that the house is sealed up, that they're not getting any additional heat coming through than necessary, and uh, even check the insulation levels. As temperatures go up, thermostats are going down. But Cox says just make sure the drop isn't too dramatic. When we get into the temperatures like this up into the triple digits, they're actually exceeding what they're designed to do. On average, you're looking at 99 degrees. We're looking to keep the house at 75 degrees. It puts less stress on your unit and wallet. Cox recommends running your ceiling fans and avoiding the on off switch on your thermostat to keep life humming along. It takes a lot more energy and a lot more work to lower that temperature than to maintain a temperature. And experts recommend getting your heating and cooling system checked by a licensed professional twice a year. A tune-up can save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars compared to a costly repair or even replacing your AC unit. Reporting live in San Antonio tonight, Hannah Tita, Ken's 5.